present moment, uh, we have 43 domestic cases of the coronavirus, uh, 48 cases of individuals who have returned to the United States. Of the domestic cases, 29 of the 43 are either in California or Washington State. Uh, and we have, we have communities that are facing, uh, facing what uh, the experts tell us could potentially be a cluster uh, in those communities. Uh, sadly, today, uh, there were four additional fatalities, um, raising the number of the, that six Americans have lost their life to the coronavirus. And on behalf of the President and all of the American people, we extend our deepest condolences and sympathies to the families of those that were lost. And uh, it is remarkable to think that there may well be a vaccine going to clinical trials within the next six weeks. Uh, the nature of trials, as the experts have explained to us, is that the vaccine might yet not be available till late this year or early next, but the therapeutics uh, giving relief to people that contract the coronavirus could literally be available by this summer or early fall. Uh, the president is very clear. We're, we're going to follow the facts and listen to the experts every step of the way. Um, the action the president authorized this weekend raising the travel advisory. The American people should know that we are saying that they sh you should not travel to certain sections of Italy or South Korea. Um, those advisories may expand, but will will allow the case the caseload in those countries to define that. Um, in addition to that, by establishing the screening protocol, which will be in full force and effect within the next 12 hours in both countries, uh, will ensure that anyone traveling on a direct flight to the United States of America receives multiple screenings at all airports in Italy and South Korea. But uh, to your point, uh, the nature of the European Union is one doesn't require a passport to move around. So our, our task force spoke today about new cases, and there were some in uh, several European countries. We're following that very closely. And uh, again, uh, we'll listen to the experts. We'll watch the cases, and, uh, and I know the President will make the decisions with regard to both travel advisories or restrictions on the basis of those facts. So I spoke with Dr. Tedros today and Dr. Mike Ryan, the incident manager for the World Health Organization, about this precise question because wanted to get a sense of their thinking, how they're assessing the designation of pandemic status. And I'll let them fully speak for themselves, but right at the moment, while we're seeing uh, community spreading, in multiple regions of the world, there's there's not a there's there are many definitions that people use around pandemic, and one issue that the WHO is focused on is just sheer magnitude. And while we've had very large numbers of cases and spreading within China, the actual absolute number of cases outside of China, while reflecting community spreading, are not of the magnitude comparable to any other pandemics that have been declared before. For instance, even the H1N1, where you have billions of individuals infected across the world. Uh, so that's what they're. That's how they are thinking about this, uh, and we're just going to keep working with them. We don't have a view as to whether they should designate it a pandemic or not a pandemic. I made that very clear. I just wanted to get a sense how they're thinking about it and assessing it, and that's I think reflective of their current thinking there. And we'll, but I'll let them. I asked them if they could put out. Uh, some points about how they're assessing this stuff. Yeah. Well, I can say there's been no recommendation about any limitations on travel within the United States of America. Um, but uh, let me let the experts speak to uh, recommendations with regard to travel. Family? You want to get that? I travel across this country all the time. My kids live all over the country. Um, and uh, look, this is a time to use common sense. Good time to wash your hands, um, and uh, but this time of year, that's always a good decision. But as we said, the risk remains low, and while while we've had a tragic losses for today, um, uh, the 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 reality is, as I said, 29 of the 43 domestic cases are in California, and in Washington State, and are centered in very specific areas that we're working to identify the source on. But um, 